I was working with teachers unions and we were fighting against, uh, what do you call it? Uh, cuts to schools, uh, there's literally a report called Death by a Thousand Cuts, where we were talking mm -hmm. about uh, the cuts that were happening to uh, the education system and how that's leading for young people to go to the prison pipeline. So I got, I had gotten my taste of what some union organizing was there. I was like, ooh, that's interesting. Like, I like the power that these unions are able to like bring to the table and uh, started and starting to have that discussion. Um, I ended up at Community Labor United where um, I got thrown into a transit campaign um, and I had done some transit work previously uh, when I was a young, per uh, what do you call it, when I was doing youth organizing. Um, where we You're were still young. <laughs> <laughs> where we were uh, talking about uh, a number of things, one of them being significantly like how can we make sure to get a low income fair. Like uh, the, the crux of it all is wanting to make sure that transit is equitable, uh, affordable, um, and accessible to everyone uh, in the state of Massachusetts. Um, and I mean, y'all can look at the news. We're not doing great. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we have come, we are uh, getting there in terms of getting a low income fare. Um, we've got things like a youth pass and things of that nature. So we're building it back. But coming into the space, uh, the first thing that I realized is that uh, to you know, sum it up in the, the, the easiest way is that uh, getting labor and community on the same page is not easy. <laughs> um, the, the fundamental crux that I learned is that we need to be able to make sure that labor sees community as their members because their members are the folks that make up a lot of these community organizations. They're, the young people are a lot of people that make up these community organizations. <laughs> when they go home and they leave their unions, it's, it's similar to what you were <laughs> saying, like the problems, like the things that the union fights for, not necessarily the things that are always the, the things that are on people's minds, things that are on people's minds. Transportation, how am I getting to work? Like, you know, do I have enough to be able to <laughs> afford a bus pass for the week or mm -hmm. for the month? Um, do I have enough to give money to give my young person to get to school for, to, for the week or for the month? Child care. I have to be at work at 6 a.m. Who is going to take care of my child? Most, like, most centers are not opening till like maybe 7, 8 o'clock. Like, I have to be on the job site by 5.55 to start at 6. Like, who is like, able to really help with that? These, mm -hmm. these are the c concerns that community members have that labor unions need to be able to start to address, right? Um, and then likewise for community, um, looking at labor and seeing like, oh, there's somebody with a good job um, that potentially doesn't necessarily uh, have the same issues and problems I do and not, again, folks needing to understand that they're your aunties, they're your uncles, they're folks that like, you know, are your neighbors that live in the same neighborhood as you that live next door to you that are still struggling with the same things. And if you ask them and you talk to them, like you'll understand that the problems that you all are, that we're facing are the same. Um, likewise, uh, you know, just fighting the issues of pacing, <laughs> as I like to call it. Um, folks want to like the issues ar arise and things happen and folks want to move quickly in the union that actually tends to be a little bit easier when you're yeah, when you're doing coalition because you're not working i'm not working directly with a union member mm -hmm. um i do not necessarily always have access to union members union do guard their members rightfully so like and they make sure they're kind of insulated and protected um but they have the ability to move a little bit quicker and mm -hmm. to make decisions a little bit quicker mm -hmm. community and, and i'm not saying one's either good or bad but community Oftentimes, we have to go back and take things back to our membership, right? Like, we have to go back and, like, all right, this is the decision that we think we want to make. What say you all? <laughs> <laughs> um, and so it's a, a matter of getting folks to understand, getting folks to see each other deeply and to understand that our problems are, like, deeply connected. Um, if we are going to fight for them, it doesn't make sense for us to fight separately because what's going to happen is those folks that are in power, the folks that, are, that we're trying to get something from are going to be like, I just gave it to them, what do you mean? 
Like, somebody just came and asked me for that thing. And I, like, what, you all didn't talk or agree? So we were like, all right, great, we didn't talk. We're talking now. <laughs> we're having that conversation now. We are making sure that we are on the same page because it only behooves us to be connected to each other, to understand what the issues are, to understand what we are fighting for and what we're demanding from folks in power and what we're demanding for policies to be changed and what we're demanding for uh, corporations to come up of, come up off of. Um, so, yeah, I, I think for me, a lot of lessons <laughs> learned, uh, definitely being patient, uh, definitely uh, as a, what, what we like to call ourselves at uh, CLU are organizers of organizers. <laughs> um, so essentially, uh, people that herd cats um, <laughs> uh, is, again, deep patience and understanding that we will, uh, we will, there will need to be deep, uh, there will need to be compromises, but compromise can only come after we have done the work to build relationship with each other. Um, so I will stop there because um, I could talk forever, but um, thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Well, it's really interesting because I just said, like, we're just going to go down the table, right? I wasn't going to try to find a logical order, but actually this is a great segue to Siggy, who um, I have to give a little shout out here, who is an alumna of UMass Dartmouth. She is an alumna of my department, and prior to her work now at the Poor People's Campaign, many years ago, when, not that many, she's still young, but... Um, 13 years ago. 13 years ago. One of her, don't remind me how long I've been here, um, she, one of her organizing experiences was working on the Bus Riders campaign, happy to talk about that. Yeah, um, so that the transit connection from Adrian talking about the driver's licenses, which is absolutely a working class issue, you know, because how do people get to their jobs if they can't get there and we don't have adequate public transportation, as we all know, um, in this region. So great to have better, but people still need to have cars, unfortunately. Um, and Siggy got a start there um, and has gone on. And I'm going to turn it over to Siggy. 